Recently, I posted a video about my experience upgrading from Ubuntu 20.04 to 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish LTS. I was installing it the normal way, with no forced upgrades, and I wasn't using some kind of strange modified Ubuntu ISO image or anything. Even though what I just said was true, toward the end of the video, the update crashed with the oh no something has gone wrong screen. I kind of said what I did to fix it in that video, but I didn't give clear instructions to people who actually experienced that problem. After all, it just it was my experience with it and it wasn't supposed to be a tutorial. But I decided to actually give a tutorial for those who actually experienced this terrible problem. Here's that section of the video and then I will tell you what I did in depth. Installing it, that window will close and everything will be fine. And then something went wrong. This is the dreaded Ubuntu screen that rarely ever happens. I tried rebooting, but the screen came up again. I eventually decided on going to the TTY console by doing control function alt F3. I ran some update commands and tried to reconfigure DPKG and uh, just fix the broken installations. Thankfully, I was actually able to get my system to boot, which was pretty good. Once I fixed the major errors in this, I decided to explore a little bit of the new GNOME 42. Checked the settings app, and I was in fact on Ubuntu 22.04, and it did say GNOME 42 as well. So as you can see, you wouldn't really be able to understand what I actually did there, unless you directly understood the commands that you'd have to enter. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I did to fix it, what I, what exactly I did to fix it, um, not just the broad picture of things. So when the something went wrong screen appeared, I clicked the log out button because that was the only button that was there, and I was kind of in a panic. I, I mean, there was no gain or loss in clicking that, but that's what I did. When I did that, it just went right back to the something went wrong. So then I decided to reboot my system which did not work. It went right back to that screen and the authentication and Ubuntu has, an ex has experienced an internal error screens were both popping up on top of that screen. Um, so then I thought to myself, wait a minute, there are other consoles and sections in Linux, not just this one interface. So instead of using the GUI, I went directly to the TTY console, which is zero GUI. Um, the keyboard shortcut I did for that was Control Function Alt F3, and there are other consoles in there. Uh, before when Linux didn't have GUI, there were just those, and they were almost like terminal tabs. Um, but now we have a graphical uh, section in one of them, and so Control Function Alt F3. There are other ones like F4, F5, F6, and F7, and there are different ones depending on your system. Um, and if F3 doesn't work for you, then try a different number. For me, F2 was the graphical interface, just so that you know. If Control function alt f 3 doesn't work, then do Control alt f 3 without the function key. Uh, it just depends on how your keyboard layout is currently set up. Once you get into the TTY console, it'll ask you to log in and enter your password. So for login, just type your username, the username for your, the user that you want to use to fix this. In my case, it was just Alex, my name. And then you type your password. And once you get logged in, I uh, what I did was I typed, because uh, I thought to myself, what do I have to fix? It was in the middle of a distribution upgrade. So I ran sudo apt update and and sudo apt dist upgrade. And it didn't let me at first because it wanted me to configure dpkg. So I typed dpkg dash dash configure dash a. And um, it just resumed the upgrade, it seemed like. Um, everything went smoothly from there. And uh, whenever it asked me to install a new configuration file and asked me if I wanted to keep mine or install the maintainer's version, I clicked N which just selects the default value, so that I would do whatever the jammy jellyfish wanted me to do while I was in the middle of upgrading. And then it told me that some packages were broken, so I just ran sudo apt fix broken install, and that was fixed pretty quickly. By the way, there were some errors I saw during some of these commands, but they were all fixed after I ran sudo apt update and and sudo apt dist upgrade, which was the command I tried to do from the start and it finally worked thanks to the commands that I ran before it. Then to just get rid of any unwanted packages, I ran sudo apt clean and and sudo apt auto remove. After that, I rebooted my system by typing sudo reboot now. 
Um, when I rebooted though, I encountered a problem that I've always encountered in the past and I was always able to boot from this, but it said, error, you need to load the kernel first, press any key to continue, and when I do that, when I pressed any key, it just kept saying that, so I had to click C and then type reboot. Um, that's just what I did there was it just went to the grub console and then rebooted the system and That happened several times until it finally is able to load the kernel Although this problem has always happened to me It also happens in other people's computers and it's due to a problem with the TPM module And if this has ever been happening to you recently um, when you get your computer back up There's just a few commands you can enter to make it so that grub unloads the TPM module from the startup So that it doesn't cause any problems, but those commands will be in a future video so my system ended up booting up and the authentication keyring thing popped up like usual and I entered my password and I was in Ubuntu 22.04 so that's what I did um, there were other commands that I did I did I just did a few more pseudo app updates and upgrades and disk upgrades auto removing um, and eventually all the packages were caught up um, there were some packages I had to install uh, like the daemon for the power management profiles like the balance performance and power saver in the new 22.04 but besides that everything was fine the last thing i did uh, i explained in the video so here's that section in the beginning of the video i said that it disabled some of the apt repositories you had during the update and um that's one of the things i had to do as well uh pretty much everyone who updates will have to do this just go to the software and updates application and then go to other software and just click on some of the things that say disabled on upgrade to jamming and that was pretty much it other than some uh little packages that i needed to get a newer version for for the 22.04 it was a pretty successful update well not completely besides the whole thing where i almost damaged my system and that was how i saved my personal ubuntu laptop from almost complete destruction uh, if you have any questions or problems, um, if you have the same kind of problem or something, put them in the comments section and I will do my best to help you with it. Um, and this laptop is working completely fine after this. Um, all the packages are, are great. Everything's working fine. And I'm in fact, I'm, yep, I'm editing this video on this laptop. So it's everything's working completely fine thanks to the things I did in this video. Alright, so that's the end. Uh, please subscribe and I will see you next time.